Hey, how's it going, guys? Geek Shrikant here, and Oreo update is available for OnePlus 5T in India. So, in this video, I'm going to show you what is new with the Oreo in OnePlus 5T, and it's kind of a video in which I will be showing you some new features of the Oreo itself. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So first up, we can see that. The quick setting, the notification bar where everything appears, you see it's it's quite different now with new layout. And right now you can also access the quick setting without even dragging it. So there it is, you can click that to go to the setting directly. Uh, let me show you that it's an Android 8.8 0.0, it's Oreo. So, the next thing I want to show you is the Easter egg or you know what's new in Oreo. It's Oreo only, not octopus, but yeah, Google decided to go for that. Hey. Where is he going? It's kind of weird actually. So that's it for the Easter egg. You can actually now snooze the notification and go to the settings of the application directly from the notification panel. You can access it through there only. So you just have to swipe a bit and then you see the two icons that is the setting one and the snooze one. So you can click on it to snooze for how long you want like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 2 hours and or you can undo it and the second thing is you can actually access the setting directly from here so you whether you want the uh, notification to come right now or you have to you want to see it I mean one of the features that I really want to show you guys is the picture-in-picture -picture mode so you can access the picture-in-picture -picture mode by going to settings uh, instead of just going and searching for it just type picture in picture mode and you will get the picture in picture select it and here you have the applications that have it so you can actually disable it if you don't want for example if I want to disable the allow picture in picture mode from the duo app I can go and click on it so it is not disabled so it doesn't have it or you can enable it so it's a really cool way uh, to sh uh, use your application. What it does if you don't know is in picture in picture mode if you're using an application for example YouTube and if you want to go out but still keep on watching the YouTube video like for example my video if you're watching Geek Shrikanth the video of the OnePlus 5T tips and tricks that I showed so uh, as well as you want to actually even check your email so you can use this uh, picture in picture mode to check your email as well as uh, watch the YouTube videos. This is smart select feature and I think this is one of the best features of the Oreo. So what it does is if you get an address for example here India Gate so you can just select everything and it will show you maps directly so you can click on it And it will take you to India Gates directly. And next, you also get is this. So it will show you where's phone number. You can go to phone directly through this. And you can eat, uh, and if you get an email address, it also works for that as well. So it's one of the cool features, I think. What do you think? Comment below. The next feature is the autofill. Autofill. If you have used uh, any of the services, you must have known that you actually have the ability to get your password your email id saved so that next time you enter it it automatically comes up so that's what here in the oreo as well you can save your credentials in the sense uh, credential here i mean the email address uh, when you enter your credentials like for example your uh, email id in twitter for example then it will ask you uh, whether you want to save it for your autofill select that uh, press ok or yes then it will do so Another feature in the Oreo is the notification batch. So right you can see about that Gmail is a 
red dot that notifies you that there is a notification for you. Well, this is a new feature to Android, and I think this is a really good feature that Google came up with. You can long press on an icon to get all these chunks, and you can also do it in the app drawer itself. For example, I can go with Chrome, and you will get it. And you can remove an application from here. Either you can go and swipe it up, or you can just long press it, and then press remove, or edit, or widget, or any other options that's here. This is the updated emoji uh, of the Oreo. Well, uh, kind of cute, but there you go. So that's it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't checked the OnePlus 5D tips and tricks, go and check it out. It's really great video. And show this channel support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, hashtag thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Be happy and stay positive.